हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज 100% स्टैक बार चार्ट इन पावर बीआई डेस्कटॉप 100% स्टैक बार चार्ट एंड स्टैक बार चार्ट बोथ रिटर्न्स द सेम रिजल्ट एज इन हॉरिजॉन्टल व्यू दिस इज आउटपुट ऑफ 100% स्टैक बार चार्ट ओनली वन डिफरेंस बिटवीन बोथ चार्ट्स इज इन 100% स्टैक बार चार्ट इट रिटर्न्स द रिजल्ट एज इन परसेंटेज फॉर्मेट यू कैन सी हियर अंडर ईच रीजन वी हैव थ्री प्रोडक्ट कैटेगरीज one is furniture see this is furniture sales in east region and it returns the furniture sales percentage 33.02% second one is office supply sales and it returns the percentage 36.03 and last one is technology sales and you can see here this is percentage of technology sales 30.95 percentage see when you cumulative all category percentage so it will be equal to 100 percentage Now see the definition of 100% stack bar chart is used to display relative percentage of multiple data series in stack bars where the total cumulative of each stack bar always equal to 100%. So you can see here for each region here we have three product category percentage and break off of all product category sales percentage is equal to 100%. Same for wedge. See. the break of a percentage is equal to 100% same for central and same for south so hope you clear the definition of 100% stack bar chart now move to the practical session here we have orders data set and under order data set we have product category c and region and sales column now we will drag 100% stack bar chart from visualization panel see this is 100% stack bar chart now we will drag region column in axis product category in region section and sales in value section see this is output of 100% stack bar chart now we will set font size font family for 100% stack bar chart so for this select the stack bar chart go to format tab and here we have many properties like general legend y axis x axis data colors data labels and titles so using general properties you can set x position y position width and height for a stack bar chart so you can see here right now my x position is 128 so i changed my x position 150 see and right now y axis position is 67 so i changed y position 90 pixel see so same for same you can change width and height for bar chart now we will set legend properties so right now my legend position is in top so you can change legend position suppose i select top center see now my legend position has been changed and also you can rename the legend right now my legend name is product category you can see here so i change my legend name pc and you can change font color for your legend suppose i select dark blue color and also you can change the font family and font size suppose i select arial font family and i select 15 pixel font size for legion so from here you can manage the legion font size font family now we will change y axis font size font family so right now my y axis position is in left you can see here so from here you can change the position for y axis suppose i select right see now my position has been changed and i select dark blue color for font text see and i increase the font size for y axis 15 pixel i change the font family for y axis arial and from here you can also increase decrease the inner padding between all stack bars right now to, uh, inner padding is 20% suppose i increase the inner padding between stack bar c so from here you can manage the inner padding and now we will set font size for x axis so here we have font color is gray so i select dark blue and i change the font size 15 pixel i select font family area and also you can turn on and turn off the title for x axis so right now for my x axis my title is sales you can see here so i turned off the title see 
Now my title has been turned off. And also you can manage the grid lines. So right now my grid line is gray color. Suppose I select blue color for grid line and I increase the stroke width for grid line C3. So you can see here now grid line has been enabled. And also we have grid line line style. So right now it is dotted. Suppose I select dashed C. And also we have one more option solid. And now I decrease the stroke width one pixel. So from here you can manage the grid line for X axis. You can also turn off the title for Y axis. Just go to Y axis. And here we have title option. Right now my Y axis title is reason. So just turn off the title and select position left C. So from here you can manage the Y axis and X axis properties for stack 100% stack bar chart. Now we have another property data colors. So from here you can change the data colors. So right now my furniture color is blue and office supply color is dark blue and technology color is orange. Suppose I change technology color and I select yellow color for technology C. So from here you can change the data color. Now we have data labels properties. Just turn on the data labels. It enables the sales percentage against each product categories. So you can see here in chart, it is showing me percentage of sales against each product categories. So from here, you can manage the font size, font family for data labels. So you can also change the colors for data labels. And also you can change the font size. Suppose I select font size 15 pixel C. And also you can change the font family for data labels. And also you can enable the background color for data labels. See, I enable the background color and I change background color gray. And then I decrease the transparency. See, so from here you can manage the font size, font family, background color for data labels. Now we have title property. So from here you can change the title name for your 100% stack bar chart. Right now my title is sales by reason and product category. You can see here. So from here you can change the title text and also you can change the font color for title. Suppose I select orange color for title and you can increase the font size for title. Suppose I select 25 pixel. Okay. From here I can change the font family for title. So from here you can manage the title font size font family. Now we have border properties. Just turn on the border and you can give border to stack bar chart. So suppose I select blue color for border. Now you can see here. So this is all about 100% stack bar chart. Hope you clear the difference between 100% stack bar chart and bar chart and how to set font size font family properties for 100% stack bar chart. Thank you guys.